Hi, my name is Ingrid Tetloff and I'd like to share some ideas about the topic Moodle 2.5 Creating Engaging Activities with you. In this video there are four slides with some theory. Afterwards I'll show you how to create two Moodle activities, choice and forum. I've often recommended the setting but what's new for me is to do it in English and to do it in Moodle version 2.5 we've still got 2.4. Yeah, what could be engaging? Um, on this slide I've listed some ideas about what could be engaging for students. I won't read the text to you as you can read it by yourself, but I'll try to add some sort of audio commentary to it. Um, first of all, you have to think about the didactical setting, what you want to achieve with the Moodle course, and of course think about who are our students, what do we know them. Um, I've decided to choose a Moodle activity which enables collaboration and discussion because that's what students often wished for. Just handing in assignments, not knowing what others are doing, isn't enough for them. Sometimes it makes sense that you divide the discussion participants in small groups and that's why I will show you how I'll do that. What kind of Moodle activity? When I think about Moodle and collaboration, there are three activities I recommend. Forum, glossary and, with some reservations, the wiki activity. They have been around for some time and are easy to handle. Um, the wiki isn't so easy and therefore it's not on the top of my list. The Moodle setting shouldn't be too con time consuming. Um, what I mean is that effort and benefit should be considered. Otherwise, maybe students won't see it as engaging anymore. Um, the first would be um, group selection via choice. I really like the choice activity. Normally you use it for polls or making students think about a topic, but you can also use it for group selection easily. The configuration allows you to decide if students shall see the results up front and if students may change their mind. You can set a limit to each group size, which makes sense if you want the students to cover all the topics you have provided. The second would be forum discussion. If you do it my way, you have to create more than one forum and the students see everything and also could make entries in the wrong forum. In most cases, it is important to define the task as something like um, please write at least three forum entries and comment on two others in order to clarify what is expected of students. It's also a good idea to ask one group member to sum up the results, um, especially if you've got long discussions or pros and cons discussions. Yeah, um, and now we'll start with the real thing, how to create the choice activity. Um, you see a Moodle in test installation with test users um, and in order to create a choice, we click on Add an activity or resource and we choose Choice. On the right side you see um, some information about the activity you've chosen. Um, sometimes it's helpful. In this case we'll just click on Add. Um, first of all you have to give a name for the choice. Um, I'll write which group do you want to belong to. Um, yeah, description um, is normally not this size. That's because of my screen resolution, which I changed for recording. Normally it's a little bit smaller. <laughs> okay. Um, we click on Show Editing Tools, so we can make some um, bold options. Please choose a group. Um, we can also add some um, pictures in order to make it more attractive. I'll show you how to do that. Just click on the icon and upload an image. Private files, yeah. It's the one I had in mind. Select image description. 
and insert. Then we'll scroll down a little bit and actually define the options. Um, allow choice to be updated. That means that students can change their mind. In this case we want them to do it. Yes. And what's very important, limit the number of responses. That means you can define the size of each group. We change it to yes. Okay, and in our case I've got a, an example literature in France history in France or better history of France and the third group would be tourism in France. Okay, we have to set the limit. Um, these three topics are just examples. You could take every topic you'd like to. Um, we have got a yeah, group size of about 20 and so far I divided into three groups of seven. Okay, that's the limit we've set. And we will scroll down and see what's behind availability. No, that's not important for us. Results, that's very important for us because we want to see the students before they choose a group um, who has already chosen a group. That means always show results to students and of course not uh, in an anonymous way because they should see who is in which group. Okay, and that's it. We click on save and return to course. There you see um, our choice activity. We can click on it and see if everything is okay. I think you've um, seen the choice activity before and so far I'll keep it short. There are our three groups and I could um, choose literature in France in order to test it, save my choice and I would be in this table below the heading literature in France. Um, we said that we could change our mind, that means I can remove my choice and afterwards say history of France and select it. Um, when the other group members have um, chosen a group you will see all of them in this table below. It's um, very easy to do it this way and um, we've made yeah g very good experiences with it. Okay, that's the choice activity. You can use these um, group settings in order to do some forum discussions afterwards or wiki um, entries or glossary entries. Um, in this example I'll show you how to use these groups um, yeah, as a condition for forum discussions. And so far I'll go back to the next slide, how to create the forums. Okay, we have to go back to our course and click again on add an activity or resource. There we've got all the activities in this Moodle installation. We click on forum. Again you see the information which we don't need in our case. Just click on add. And I choose the forum name according to the groups I've created before. That's important. Literature in France. And we have to fill in the description what the students are required to do. Something like, please make at least three entries to your chosen topic and comment on others. In order to see the editor we have to click on this link that's new in 2.5, um, also the collapsed forms, these are also new in 2.5 um, and I'll make it bold. 
You could um, add some pictures in order to make it more attractive, but in this case I will keep it short. Um, to create a forum is very easy because the standard options normally uh, fit very well. That means standard forum is correct. Attachments we don't need, but uh, if you need them, check what uh, size is given here. 500 uh, kilobyte is very um, small in size and normally doesn't um, fit for an attachment. Display word count, um, we could do it just for fun. That's a new function in 2.5. That means when you write a forum entry um, below, you see um, the actual word count. That may be helpful if you define um, the limit of a um, forum entry and say it should have at least so and so so many words. Okay, but back to our configuration. Optional subscription is good because that means um, you um, get a mail when you've made a forum entry and are also allowed to um, end these mails. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I think the rest of the um, settings isn't interesting for us and so far we will click on save and return to course. Okay, and a very nice function which came with Moodle um, 2 is the copy symbol. Um, okay, it's uh, called duplicate here. You just click on it in order to make a second forum. Just continue. added the new copy and we can change the name history of France that is what we need just click on save and we'll do it once again for the third forum which shall be called tourism in France yeah And there we are, there are all three forums. Um, just a reminder, um, we see who has chosen which group. That means Susanne Test at the moment should make her discussions in the forum History of France. Um, there's nothing in it, um, naturally. You see here the description and it would be ready to start. Okay, you've seen how easy it is to create a choice and three forums. Um, the duplicate function makes it very easy to create many forums and as we've made not so good experiences with the technical group functions in Moodle, um, we recommend doing it the way I showed you. That means just create as many forums as you need Everyone could write in every uh, forum, but normally when you've got the group selection above, it works fine. Okay. And that's it. Thank you for your attention and I hope you've learned something and please excuse my bad English. Okay, thank you.